Hey guys, my name is Sam and today I want to take a quick look at the Air Vapor Max 97 by Nike. Like the name suggests, the Air Vapor Max 97 combines two iconic representations of full air. It draws from the past with the Air Max 97's upper, which meets present technology with the Air Vapor Max sole. It comes in your classic red Nike box, which was a bit disappointing, but we're not here for the box anyway, so let's get right into the shoes. This Air Vapor Max 97 features a classic Japan colorway, with the Air Max 97 upper in black, in a padded mesh upper with silver strips of 3M flanking around the shoe, as well as the droplet design on the tongue. The lower layer uses a premium feeling felt that flanks around the upper. This all sits on a neon green translucent Vapor Max sole with black traction patches on the outsole. This is one of my favourite 97 colourways and I love the hints of neon green Nike branding on the tongue and both sides of the mid panel. Although it appears to be a straight sole swap, Nike made a few changes to the 97 upper in order to accommodate the Vapor Max sole. One was making the shoe slightly wider, which leads to, in my opinion, a more comfortable experience, since the 97 is known for fitting quite tight. Performance wise, the Vapor Max sole has that same great cushioning and ride, but I must admit that the upper gives slightly less flex compared to the flying the upper. On paper, this shoe is supposed to be perfect. I love the 97, I love the Vapor Max sole, and I even missed out on the Japan colorway from 2017. However, like they say, not everything is perfect. I feel like the Vapor Max 97 loses that sleek nature of the original Air Max 97. Despite being lighter than the original 97, the Air Vapor Max 97 looks bulky, especially at the toe. Don't get me wrong, I do like a bulky shoe, and I think this shoe does look cool, especially with that neon sole, which really pops. I just don't think it works well being called a 97. I will say I'm happy to see Nike experimenting with their new models and hybrids. Speaking of hybrids, I would like Nike to do a similar treatment to the Air Max 95 Neon. I think it would work much better since the shoe is already slightly bulky. But what do you guys think? Are you feeling the Vapor Max 97? Would you like to see a Vapor Max 95? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment in Japan to show me you watch this video to the end. Please subscribe if you like my content and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As usual, all 11 links will be in the description. Apart from that, have a good day. Speaking of speaking of hybrids, I'll like Nike to do a sim speaking of hybrids, I'll like Nike to do a similar Speaking of hybrids